Renaissance Capital is an emerging and frontier markets focused investment bank founded in 1995 in Russia. The firm has offices in Moscow, London, New York, Lagos, Nairobi, Johannesburg, Cape Town, Dubai, Cairo, and Nicosia. Since 2012, Renaissance Capital has been part of ONEXIM Group, one of the largest private investment holding companies in Russia, owned by Russian billionaire Mikhail Prokhorov. Renaissance Capital offers investment banking services in debt and equity capital markets, M&A, equity and equity derivatives, fixed income, FX and FX derivatives, commodities products, prime brokerage, research, as well as repo and financing. The firm has assets worth approximately $3,260 million and equity of around $486 million, as of the end of 2017, and reported full year net profit for 2017 of $15.6 million. History Renaissance Capital was established in 1995 by a group of founding partners, including Stephen Jennings, Boris Jordan, Leonid Rajetskin, Anton Kudryashov and Richard Deitz. On September 22, 2008, ONEXIM Group and Renaissance entered into a strategic partnership whereby ONEXIM Group purchased a 50% minus 1 share stake in Renaissance Capital for $500 million following the issuance of new equity, commenting that the acquisition presents the opportunity to take Renaissance Capital to the the next level. In 2010, Renaissance Capital paid 207 million rand $27 million to acquire Barnard Jacobs Mellet Securities Limited, the South African stock brokerage. In November 2012, ONEXIM Group acquired further stakes in Renaissance Capital, which resulted a full ownership of the investment bank and indirect ownership of an 89% stake in the consumer finance bank Renaissance Credit. Commenting on the deal, Dmitry Razumov, chief executive officer of ONEXIM Group, said We strongly believe in the strategy of Renaissance Capital and that the financial resources of ONEXIM will only strengthen the unique position of the bank in the markets in which it operates. The transaction was completed in April 2013. Following the receipt of all necessary regulatory approvals, Renaissance Capital opened an office in Dubai in February 2014, initiating coverage of almost 50 regional stocks and launching trading in the Middle East markets, including UAE, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Kuwait, Morocco, Oman, and Tunisia. Asia, Renaissance Capital has been active in Africa for several years. The firm established a presence on the continent in 2007 with locations in Lagos and Nairobi and opened offices in Johannesburg, Cape Town and Cairo in 2010, 2015 and 2017 respectively. In March 2015, Renaissance Capital doubled its net profit from core business for the full year 2014, reporting a total operating income of $250 million. In April 2017, Renaissance Capital announced the upcoming opening of its Cairo office, focusing on investment banking, financing, and research, and received its license to operate in the country later that year. Topic: Management. 
Since April 2017, Renaissance Capital has been led by co-CEOs Ruslan Babayev and Anna Vyshlova, who oversee strategy and the day-to-day -day operations of the firm. Both Ruslan Babayev and Anna Vyshlova had previously served in management positions at the firm. Christoph Charlia is chairman of Renaissance Capital's board of directors, providing oversight and guidance on its strategic development and international expansion and managing the firm's relationships with key clients and stakeholders in all of the firm's markets. Anthony Simone, Renaissance Renaissance Capital's president, focuses on the firm's international offices and institutional client coverage, as well as regulatory, governance and other corporate matters. Elena Grishina is Renaissance Capital's CFO. Within this role, she is responsible for Renaissance Capital's financing activities and investor relations. Temi Popula is CEO for Nigeria, with a focus on equities and developing the firm's investment banking offering in the country. Amra Halal is CEO for North Africa. He has been with the firm since October 2017 as an independent non-executive director in Cairo. In the capacity of Chief Executive Officer, Amra leads the firm's franchise in North Africa and oversees the company's strategy and senior client coverage in the region. Stanley Kariuki is CEO and Head of Equities for Kenya, where he oversees the local team and has responsibility for trading and operations. Kirsty Ross is CEO for South Africa, a position she has held since 2015. Marios Hagianakis is CEO for Cyprus. He has the overall responsibility for regional business development, operations and regulatory relations. Topic Geography Renaissance Capital is focused on emerging and frontier markets. The firm has a unique geographical footprint with offices in Moscow, London, New York, Lagos, Nairobi, Johannesburg, Cape Town, Dubai, Cairo and Nicosia, thus providing its clients with an unrivaled prime brokerage and investment banking services. Dubai and Cairo serve as the focal points for the firm's activities in the Middle East and North Africa. One of the landmark transactions in this region was the first equity placement on the Egyptian Stock Exchange, completed in May 2016 on behalf of Egypt El Mansur and El Maghrabi Investment and Development Company through an accelerated book build of Crady Agricole Egypt SAE shares. Renaissance Capital acted as the sole organizer and bookrunner of the placement. Renaissance Capital's office in Lagos, Nigeria, serves as a hub for the firm's West African operations, and its Nairobi, Kenya office provides a base for its activities in the east of the continent. The firm has managed transactions in Nigeria, Kenya, South Africa, Ethiopia, Uganda, Rwanda, Tanzania, Egypt and Zambia. Topic rankings, ratings and awards Renaissance Capital's research team was recognized as top 10 in the 2017 Institutional Investor All EMEA Research Team Survey. The utilities research team was ranked first, the economics, metals and mining and transportation teams all finished second, while the frontier markets team came in third. In 2016 and 2017, the Excel survey consecutively ranked Renaissance Capital as the top frontier markets brokerage firm. In the 2017 Financial Mail Awards for African 
and equity research, the majority of the firm's individual analysts achieved top positions in their respective categories, and local team was ranked sixth. Renaissance Capital won two prizes in the 2017 C Bonds Awards for the bond issuances it organized for UCRUSAL and Kazakhstan Temir Juli. The C bonds are Russian bond focused awards given annually. Most recently, Renaissance Capital has been named the best in frontier markets in 2018 by Global Finance magazine. Topic product offering Renaissance Capital offers a variety of investment banking services in debt and equity capital markets and M&A, equity and equity derivatives, fixed income, FX and FX derivatives, commodities products, prime brokerage, research, as well as repo and financing. The firm has established an algorithmic trading unit as part of its existing derivatives business to meet growing client demand and capitalize on market opportunities. The firm's award winning research department offers equity and macro coverage of emerging and frontier economies, with a focus on Africa, the CIS, and Asia. Renaissance Capital Analysts provide equity research on the following sectors, automotive and transport, consumer and retail, financials, health care, industrials, materials, media and technology, metals and mining, oil and gas, real estate and telecommunications. Renaissance Capital has acted as organizer on a number of significant debt and equity capital markets transactions in Russia in recent years, including the Moscow Initial Public Offering IPO of Obov Rossi I, a $315 million block trade for UCRUSAL, and several major dollar-denominated bond issuances, including for STLC, and Polyuse Gold. In the frontier and emerging space, Renaissance Capital has organized a number of pioneering transactions including the following, a $400 million international bond issuance for Fidelity Bank plc, a leading commercial bank in Nigeria. A GEL 500 million three-year senior bond issue for Bank of Georgia, the first ever local currency international bond issue out of Georgia. A RUB 15 BN issue for Kazakhstan Temir Juli KTZ, the state railway company of the Republic of Kazakhstan, the first corporate issue for a foreign borrower in the Russian domestic ruble market. A $350 million Eurobond sale for Eurotig, the first corporate international bond issuance by a Belarusian company. Nigeria's 10 billion Nigerian Naira's debut corporate infrastructure bond for Viathan Group, a private equity-backed company, providing power solutions to the government, household and businesses in Nigeria, using natural gas as fuel. Conferences. Renaissance Capital organizes a number of investor events, including roadshows, one-to-one investor meetings, capital markets days and annual regional conferences around the world, some of which have been held for many years consecutively. Renaissance Capital held its 22nd annual Russia Investor Conference on 10-11 April 2018. Renaissance Capital also organizes investor conferences in London, Cape Town, Nairobi and Lagos. In May 2016, Renaissance Capital also hosted its first Pakistan investment conference in London. 
The two-day event brought together European and U.S. investors, and government and corporate representatives from a wide range of sectors in Pakistan, including financial services, industrials, natural resources, energy, pharmaceuticals and telecoms. Serving as a gateway to emerging and frontier markets for international investors, most recently, Renaissance Capital held an investor roadshow in Nigeria, gathering investors from London, New York, Johannesburg and other markets with an interest in Nigerian bonds and equities.